You guys ready to dive in the water and see what we can find? Uh, first thing you do, first thing I would recommend that you do if you're going to look around with a mask and uh, snorkel is spit in your mask and rub the spit around and that will help keep it from fogging up so bad. It's better if you can do that when the glass is still dry. Uh, second thing I, I recommend that you do is get your face cool. You see I'm sweating right now, my face is very hot. Uh, you get some water splashed on your face, cool your skin down because if you take a nice hot face, <laughs> well you know what I mean, and uh, put it in a mask like this, uh, it'll fog up immediately. So get your face cool, spit on your mask, rub it around first. You want to see the spit? Next five seconds is going to be me spitting and rubbing it around. It's a warning. Just do that and rub it around good. Rinse it off if you want. Cool your face down and jump in. All right, so I'm all cooled down. I got spit on the mask. What I'm going to do is go out and work my way up river. The reason you don't work down river is because when you're walking, you raise up a lot of mud. You can see it's already muddy down there. And look, there's a fishing rod in the uh, tree right there. See? Treasure is where you find it. Should we check it out? Yeah, let's go check it out. Well, I'm not going to check it out. It's right there if anybody wants it. Alright, let's go and see what we can find. There's going to be a lot of junk in here for sure. Whew. This should be a better area right here than the uh, sand I was just at. You can see this is mud, so... Hopefully we can see something in here. So far it's not looking too good though. So far this has been very disappointing. It's uh, just nothing but sand once you get away from the bank just a little bit. So anything that's cool will of course be covered with a layer of sand. It could be inches or feet thick. There are some rocks up here so we'll keep going. I mean, I haven't found anything yet. I did see a couple bricks so out here a little deeper. So let's swim up that way and look at it. And uh, we'll keep going for a while. There's definitely more than a couple bricks here. This might be better up this way. Well, I see my first oldish bottle down here. Now, you see some more junk, so maybe we're on it, guys. I hope. Hold your breath. Kind of an eight bottle, not embossed, probably not terribly old, but it's pretty cool. I'll leave that for the next guy though. The bubbles, bubbles. That's an old train wheel. It looks pretty old too. It's small. I guess it could be off a cart.
<laughs> it's weird, there's so many phones here, and they look like old ones, though. I mean, older than me. Pork top, at least. What's up with those phones, man? That's really weird, isn't it? Yeah, the same goes all the way up, though. A lot of bubbles, though, huh? Well, I might save that one, too. Ah, put a hole in it. Won't be saving that one. It's being. how old that is or if it's collectible I'm sure that one's not because it's broken ah, pretty cool though it has a lot of them in here ah there's a dump up in front of us I can see it We have a somewhat unpleasant surprise in front of us, I do believe. <laughs> I haven't picked it up yet, but it looks like it's probably a mortar uh, bomb, a mortar shell from like, you know, World War One or Two or Vietnam or something. What it's doing out here, I have no idea. But I guess we'll have to go under and take a quick look at it and see if that's what it is. Of course, it could be a toy, who knows, but I don't think so. It's a small one. All right, hold your breath. <laughs> and hope it does blow. Well, it's either a mortar or a practice bomb, I'm not sure which. I actually have some practice bombs I found up on Cape Cod years ago. It looks very similar to that, but... Oh, uh, well, I'm sure we touch it. I'm going to go down and take another closer look. Very, very heavy. It's not a practice bomb. Oops. I guess we'll uh, leave that here for now. I'll, I'll call the uh, police on this one. Or I'll swim it out to a deep hole and bury it out there in the middle of somewhere. <laughs> Maybe that's what we'll do. It's been here for a long time, obviously. I just fanned the bottom for a little bit right there to see what would show up. Let's go look. value in those things. Let me know if there is. Maybe I'll come back and grab them. For the collectors. It's good work. Yeah, they're 
they're all in pieces for sure. I don't think it's that old. I'll try to read that writing for you. It's Northern Electric. Anyone has any idea how old they are, I'd love to know. I don't imagine they're that old though. And there's a bunch of them. I see a bunch more too. Oh, yeah. Hold your breath. that is and it's right where it belongs that's definitely before my time I think it's an earpiece, isn't it? I guess. Here's a hazard of being in the water is a giant leech down here. It looks like you're getting ready to gra try to grab someone who walks or swims by. I can't see him anymore because it's cloudy, so I'm not going to go over there. sure what it is. I don't think it's very old though. Just don't recognize that one. Looks like a bowl one pin, doesn't it? Huh. Oh well.
Well, that's pretty cool. There's a horseshoe. Oh, I got my first old thing. That's a horseshoe. Almost looks like a giant mule shoe, really. Cool. I'm gonna leave it though. We're on some bedrock here. Uh, I can actually see some stuff. I guess there's a sinkers probably. Looks like a knife maybe too. Let's go look. not very old it's not very good shape a couple old handmade sinkers uh, I shouldn't fan here though because if I do I'm gonna cloud this thing really bad so we'll just have to surface hunt for a while then we'll try to fan a little bit later so all kinds of neat stuff down there all right let's go see what it is hopefully it's not cloudy already stuff here. It's amazing. Basketball. I just panned it out of the rocks. Like a musket ball, it's got a, a cut in it. Maybe they use it for fishing sinker, I guess. I reckon. Just follow this flat button right beside it too. I went down and looked in the hole, it was laying right there. You could probably see it in the uh, last uh, uh, little video I took when I picked that ball up, I guess. <laughs> That's cool. That's an old one right there. Awesome. Let's go find some more. I found an Indian head penny. Not sure about the date though. That's pretty nice. Banned it out of a crack in a rock. That's kind of neat, huh? Uh, I don't think I'll save it though. Just in case. That's a modern quarter for sure. At least I'm 25 cents richer today.
take some interesting bottles down here. I picked one up, looked like a pickle bottle. I dropped it, but there's a few more. Let's go look at them. this little one here I'm not gonna keep, keep that other one this one's not very old but it's different I don't have any quite like that so any chips in it no no chips all right let's save that one at least at least now we know what all these little bells are that we find metal detecting a lot of times people say these like little bicycle bells and whatnot but these are off of the telephones <laughs> there's, there's tons of them down there a couple different kinds mystery solved <laughs>